Hi there, it's sad to hear that Nurse Maud has been forced to cut hours to some of its home care services because of the fallout of COVID-19. If anything, you would have thought it would be increasing staff during these uncertain health times. Many people called my show on News Talk ZB saying they were taken by surprise. One woman who phoned the show was getting an hour of help a week, but that's been cut to one hour every two weeks without notification. Another caller said his home care services were reduced by 15 minutes an hour, placing additional stress on the carer to get the job done faster. General Marketing Manager at Nurse Maud, Sue Branwell, told me all they've done is bring services in line with funding available for each person. She says Nurse Maud has in fact been over-providing services for many years because it was in a financial position to do so thanks to charitable donations. But, like every charity, Nurse Maud has been substantially hit because of the COVID-19 virus and they rely on donations. And this is where the government can and should help. You see, in May, it announced an additional $3.92 billion over four years for district health boards across New Zealand. Why can't some of that money be redirected towards frontline staff at Nurse Maud immediately? Why is it so difficult to allocate funds straight away when the need is clearly there? And this news comes at a time when the government is paying out millions to AJ Hackett Bungie New Zealand to keep it afloat for better or worse. It will receive a $5.1 million grant in the first year with a possible loan of up to another $5.1 million in the second. That decision has been criticised as corporate welfare. AJ Hackett Bungie is owned by Bungie New Zealand, which has three shareholders, including Trojan Holdings, owned by Sir John Davies, worth reportedly $140 million. But back to Nurse Maud. Cutting home care hours? This shouldn't be happening in Christchurch, particularly at a time when cash is being thrown at every government department left, right and centre. Look, the government's done a great job announcing funding decisions for important sectors, don't get me wrong. But even some benefactors of the government's decisions have said funding needs to be far more targeted. No one in the community of Christchurch should have their home care services cut. Let's just hope this organisation, this much respected organisation, Nurse Maud, can get this money without having to exhaust its resources pleading for cash at a time when we should be particularly focused on providing as much help as we can for our elderly.